this room can transform into hundred, hundreds of different scenarios where our EMS students, we can put in sight, sound, scent. We really? can control it all so that they're functioning and being trained and, and Professor James actually... And monitoring their own emotional response because of the sensory input that they're getting. These are our two students. Um, we've Hi. got Omar Saran Omar. and we've got Shelby Gay. We both went through our EMT program here at the college. So the scenario for this case is going to be, uh, unfortunately this gentleman uh, was uh, struck by a vehicle mm -hmm. in a hit and run. And we'll let them take it from here. Right now my patient is laying supine. Uh, not a lot of movement at this point. I'm currently going to check for uh, responsiveness for my patient. Uh, he's semi responsive. Hello, sir. Sir? Responding to verbal commands. Okay, at this point, I'm going to instruct my partner to go ahead and grab manual stabilization of C spine and I'll put a definitive uh, C collar for uh, protection of the cervical spine. When he's going to a semi conscious state, I'm going to instruct my crew member to go ahead and put a definitive airway. Can you put an endotracheal tube in, please? I'm going to clean the area. I'm going to check for my sight. I'm going to do my puncture. <laughs> IV access has been obtained. How are you going with the endotracheal tube? Okay. okay. That is confirming tube placement. Okay. You can stop. Good oh, job, guys. Wow. You know, I, I typically in a case like this, I, I'd be the bystander watching not realizing all the different things you're checking, but it, all those little details in a simulation space, I'm sure help you stay focused on it because there are the distractions, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'd feel safe if, uh, if you were coming, if I ever needed help. <laughs>